Hello lovely viewers, it's me Kelly again. I'm coming at you with a video that I'm not sure how it's going to look because I am using a tripod situation that I'm not sure, um, basically I cannot see my screen from where I'm sitting. So hopefully it all works well. I kind of just wanted to show you guys a um, some stuff that I got from Kino Cunia in Beaverton yesterday. This is not that, by the way. This is, um, I bought this in Amsterdam at the miscellaneous store. It's a dot grid, like A6 size notebook. I wanted to use it for testing today. Um, maybe I'll use the, I'll use this page back here. So anyway, yesterday I went to Uwajimaya in Beaverton and I wasn't expecting Kino Kunia to be open, but it was. So of course I was socially distant and had a mask and everything. And I was just looking at all the goodies. So let's start out with numero uno here. This is a Tombow monograph mechanical pencil. It's in a 0 0.5 millimeter lead. I have this mechanical pencil, but I don't have it in the cute pastel. It's got this twisty eraser. I just wanna make sure this is, yeah, that looks, that looks like a good, um, focus. So it has this really cool mechanism where you have to press really hard to get this to go and that's how you extend the lead. I think you can also do fude fude, which means you shake it. Yeah, so that comes out too. But then if you don't want this to extend in your pencil case, you just click it like that and then the fude fude won't uh, make it come out. It's just really neato. So let's let's do it on this page. Tombow monograph 0 0.5 millimeter. And of course the eraser is really good. So I bought that. I also got this lead. 0 0.5 in B. I have not yet activated, activated, what am I saying? I haven't put the lead in the pencil yet, but I figured it would be fun to have a different um, grade. I also got this correction tape, Tombow as well. It's um, 4.2 millimeter. I'm running low on some I had. I, um, I just wanted to you know, try a new one. I also wanted to bring these out. So this one I bought in Japan last time I was there. It's a Zig clean color dot marker. I decided to buy two more at Kinokuniya because I've been wanting to have more of more color options. So if you guys haven't seen these before, oh, there's a hair, that's fun. Um, Basically, you can use this end to make dots. It's pretty cool. Or you can use it as a highlighter. And then this color is called Ocean. So. That's, it's just kind of a fun, a fun marker. It looks different on this paper than it does on Tomoe River, obviously. Kiwi. And then this one is the salmon. Yes. It's kind of, yeah, definitely looks way different. Salmon. So like I said, this one I bought in Japan, this was 200 yen. 
and then these ones were $3.95, so it's literally twice as expensive, but I'm not in Japan right now, so whatever. Um, so those are fun. This paper honestly isn't the best, which is why I'm not that excited about the, this notebook that I got in Amsterdam. I thought it was very neat looking, like it's this nice linen kind of fabric. Okay. So I didn't get that many more things. Let's do this one next. So, this is adorable, of course. This says Tate Rareru Fusen, which means uh, standing sticky note. So basically you go like this, see the little guy? And then you hook him here, and then he's standing. So it's adorable. It's got this little bear and it's like so cute. I was struggling with which one. I thought it would have the biking bear on the memo, but it doesn't, but that's fine. He's just adorable. And then the last thing I got was some Kita. It was 30% off, I think, because the, the it's like kind of off center. I don't know if you can tell that. Um but I don't care, so in fact, I always take these out of here because I put them in a um, in a specific place with my washi tapes. Why can't I find the things I need? Seriously. Here we go. Oh yeah. So I can just cut this right here, and then this. So I bought this at um, Sweet Kitty Anime Store <laughs> in, I believe, Kent, Washington, not far from Seattle. And I got it because it's basically a washi tape card holder. I mean, it's the size of business cards, which also fits washi tape. So I already have, or in fact, one of these, I think it was this one. I have room for another Kita. I think it'll fit in there. Oh, I hope it's not ruining it. Oh, it is kind of ruining it. Well, maybe I should do this off camera. But anyway, as you can see, the Kita does fit in here. And I do use it um, so that's the, that's my, uh, purchases. If, if anyone doesn't know what Kita is, I didn't explain that. Um, basically it's like these little strips of washi and you can just take it off and like peel it and stick it on. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope this video turned out and, um, thanks for watching. Bye.